Hello, it's me, Alex. Yes, I'm gonna give the internet an opinion. You can agree, disagree, leave a comment. So today I wanna talk briefly on the positive things I've been seeing online about Spearhead firing Jade for Age of Sigma, and also Combat Patrol for 40K, but more importantly, boarding action. That's the one I've been liking reading up on. These two game systems per se are smaller scale. And smaller scale means you buy just the box for Combat Patrol or Spearhead and you can play straight away with less minis, which means you don't need a 2k army to spend, let's be real, I don't know, like three to a thousand pounds? I don't know, every army's different in price. But the age we live in with like the rise in prices of fuel and all that, we can go into politics, but we don't need to. Everyone's situation's different, but the cost of living and also the cost of time. People don't have as much time because they're busy working, they're trying to pay for bills, they're trying to look after their kids, they're trying to explore the world. Alex, you're probably thinking, what does this all mean? Why should I care about this video? You don't have to, but I think I'm trying to say, well, I'm not thinking, I know what I'm trying to say. Games Workshop needs to focus more on this because I've just seen so much positive outpour for these game systems because it's affordable, it's easier, and it's more accessible. If it's more accessible, it means more people can get involved, which means more people to play with, means more customers for Games Workshop, which means more money. It's like the business model of, would you rather have five customers who spend a hundred pounds and that's it, or would you rather have 10 customers who spend 50 pounds but they're more chance of returning because it's less of investment to play the game. For me, with the likes of boarding action, I'm I'm liking it. Like I said, I'm actually more willing to spend money on separate boarding action forces. Yes, you could argue and say you could put that towards an entire army. I don't really want to play a 2k game of 40k. Yes, I have a Necron army, which will be 2k points, and that will solely be my main focus for 40k like events and stuff but overall I get more fun of hobby butterflying doing a bit of everything and even though I wasn't really first on Age of Sigma like I like it I've liked it in the past I've done battle reports I do like it but I've been lukewarm because I've been more invested in boarding action but hearing this positive combat patrol not combat patrol spearhead and the fire and jade approach with the book which comes in the skaven tie box but for some reason it doesn't come with the fire and jade terrain box starter set thing which is odd i think gw could really focus on this more and as a community as a player base competitive casual narrative competitive casual which is a new term i've heard which i find very funny I think it could fill a lot of gaps for everyone, for painters, kit bashers, collectors, players. I think it's just approachable and I just wanted to do a little ramble rant video. So apologies if it's just me going a bit, 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 and you're like, he's just rambling again because I acknowledge I ramble, I am guilty and my face isn't on screen this week, luckily for you. But hopefully we can have a discussion in the comments. Hopefully you can dissect what I kind of said and we can have somewhat of a coherent conversation where you're like, yes, I agree or I disagree because of this. As usual, if we can be like civil and constructive and like positive, positive vibes off each other, that'd be class. And also if you want to like, like and then comment and subscribe and share and get a further discussion going, would love that because it's always good. Also, thank you to the people on screen, your class, great support, thank you lads and girls, and till next time, keep it easy in life and hobby, goodbye.